god, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay. Hello and welcome or welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles. Today I have my friend Cassie with me and we are going to do another round of reacting to random book synopses. Um, we might be a little intoxicated. We may be possibly mm -hmm. had a couple shots and maybe, you know, like three margaritas. It's fine. Yeah, Cassie and I are friends from college and we're just gonna see how this goes. Ready the for fuck it. Knows. Ready for it. All this right. first one was sent to me by Rachel. You should definitely follow her, especially if you are a fan of Shadow and Bone. She has so much Shadow and Bone content. It's awesome. But the title of this book is This Bisexual Snowman's Carrot Wiener is in My Butthole. My sexual carrot penis is in my butthole? Yes. Now, does a carrot penis, is that the same as like a pencil dick? I don't know, Cassie. <laughs> Jack is a workaholic who suddenly finds himself snowed in and fresh out of productive things to do. His wife, Amanda, eventually suggests using this time to relax and focus on the present. And while this is difficult for Jack, he manages to put the philosophy into practice by building a snowman in the yard. After all, a snowman will only last so long. When the snowman asks to come inside, however, Jack and his wife find themselves crossing paths with the meta-reality of the Tingleverse, forced to confront their own temporary nature as characters in an erotic short. Soon enough, they decide the best use of their limited time is a hardcore bisexual threesome with their snowy creation. This erotic tale is 4,200 words of sizzling bisexual human and handsome snowman threesome action. Is it bisexual if it's with a snowman? Does the snowman have a gender? Like I know it's well, snowman, but-, but, I, but it, the, the snowman has a carrot meter. The carrot's on their nose. But the There's no drawn on- carrot, we, No, actually look at the picture. It's got a carrot for the nose and for the dick. Uh, I'm having so many feelings here. His wife is like, you're bored, let's go fuck a snowman. You're bored, so let's fuck First a snowman. First of all, Rachel, thanks a lot. I almost feel traumatized by the synopsis. Like, all for the sexual freedom, like, if it wasn't a snowman, maybe a snowman. this would, like, turn me on. I'd pull out Bob, but, like, this is, like, weird, Bob. Battery-operated boyfriend, Bob. <laughs> um, that's gonna be a hard pass for me. But also, like, for me, like, Paranormal romance always seems weird to me because there's always a weird ass age gap. Oh yeah, that part always gets me sometimes. The guy's like, I'm like, uh, he was like locked in a 17 year old's body, but he's like 160 exactly. and he's dating like a 17 year old, which his body's a 17 year old, but he should have the maturity of like someone that's 160, exactly. but he doesn't. Exactly. So agreed, but also like daddy close. Oh God, so hot. Moving on. <laughs> I'm going to read the synopsis first and then okay. tell you the title, okay? All right, I'm ready for this. Between medical issues and a breakup, Zoe needs to have some fun. So when her friends suggest a girl's trip, it's hard to say no. At first, she doesn't think all her needs will be met at the sparsely filled villa. Then she meets okay. Grant. He shows her just how pleasurable things can get at the beach. How are we feeling so far? Grant seems like a very masculine name. Okay. So I can tell, like, it feels like the author's trying to go in some, like, sort of direction. Let's go back to the title now. It's called Sated on the Beach. Sated on the Beach? Merman Erotica. How do we feel about Merman Erotica? I've never thought about it, um, and I haven't seen Aquaman because I fucking have heard. But everyone knows Jason Momoa is hot as fuck. But That's how, a weird title. They could have done better. How are feeling about the merman part? I mean, you think of mer people, and you think of, like, Hot chicks. I've never thought of like a male merman. Okay, Where's his penis? Does his like tail like open up and reveal, or like where, like you said, where is it? Right. I don't know. There must be someone on the internet that explains. I'm not Just, like, googling that. No, I think I don't think it would go well. Like I think I'd be traumatized if I googled it. Don't want to Google that. No, I think I'd be traumatized. But I think someone probably has some sort of explanation. Um. But if this merman looked like Jason Momoa, then okay. okay. You were so easily convinced. We have issues. It's fine. We're you weird. have issues. There's no we. I know there's not a we, but I like to say we so I don't feel so alone in the issues. We is the all the voices in my head and me. <laughs> the next book is called The Roommate by Kendall Ryan. It is the first in what is called the Roommate series. If you watch- Like the horror movie? 
Was it Lightning to Meester? I mean, it's probably going to be a romance. And Alice and Mashaka? Oh, this is like a, a romance. It's synopsis probably going to be a romance. So not um, a horror film. If you watched Reacting to the Synopses episode two, I think, there were two books in there called The Roommate. It's like a popular title. Apparently. The last time I saw my best friend's younger brother, he was a geek wearing braces. This is already weird. It's a younger brother romance. Okay. But when Cannon shows up to crash in my spare room, I get a swift reality check. Now 24, he's broad shouldered and masculine and so sinfully sexy. I want to climb him like the jungle gyms we used to enjoy. At six foot something with lean muscles hiding under his t-shirt, a deep sexy voice and full lips that pull into a smirk when he studies me, he's pure temptation. Fresh out of a messy breakup, he doesn't want any entanglement, but I can resist, right? I'm holding strong until the third night of our new arrangement when we get drunk and he confesses his biggest secret of all, he's cursed when it comes to sex. Apparently, he's a god in bed and women instantly fall in love with him. I'm calling bullshit. In fact, I'm going to prove him wrong. And if I rack up a few much needed orgasms in the process, all the better. There's no way I'm going to fall in love with Cannon. But once we start, I realize betting against him may have been the biggest mistake of my life. I have so many feelings right now. Okay, Swift reality check means that she's getting some tingly feelings in her cookie. Mm. <laughs> her cookie. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> First of all, second of all, I'm cursed when it comes to sex. Douchebag, but you know what? I'd want to fuck him too because my type is douchebag. As far as the story though, like I, f like how is fucking your best friend's brother going to go? Like that could be an issue. I mean, at least they're adults though. He's 24. So it's not like he's like, you know, like just turned 18 or something weird. Yeah. I think it depends on like age range and how close are you with this person? Like, are you such good friends that if it doesn't work out, it's going to fuck up the friendship or will it be okay? I think that the fucking your best friend's brother is a little, I think it, mm, I feel like that could be a little weird. I feel like, yeah. I feel like it's not worth messing up a friendship. One. Two, I would be hesitant to believe him because. You've got to know him well enough to know if he's like being a douche calling like bullshit with the i'm cursed with sex right but she hasn't the seen him super since she was like in braces and now he's 24. but i see how it could make good fantasy erotica oh yeah for sure versus for sure, playing sure. out in real life for sure yeah but also like everybody falls in love with like no it's douchey yeah. that's so douchey yeah what's next we did the roommate still house lake oh it looks like it's the first mysterious. This feels, just from the picture, it feels like a horror, maybe a mystery. It feels very horror. I love a good horror. I mean, better than Truly Devious, so though, am I right? Yeah, I think I think that's some redeeming qualities. We can do an additional video on it. <laughs> I hate it. We'll do shit. a Truly Devious series. Uh, oh my deal. god, no. Gina Royal is the definition of average. A shy Midwestern housewife with a happy marriage and two adorable children. But when a car accident reveals her husband's secret life as a serial killer, she must remake herself as Gwen Proctor, the ultimate warrior mom. With her ex now in prison, Gwen has finally found refuge in a new home on remote Still House Lake. Though still the target of stalkers and internet trolls who think she had something to do with her husband's crimes, Gwen dares to think her kids can finally grow up in peace. But just when she's starting to feel at ease in her new identity, a body turns up in the lake and threatening letters start arriving from an all too familiar address. Gwen Proctor must keep friends close and enemies at bay to avoid being exposed or watch her kids fall victim to a killer who takes pleasure in tormenting her. One thing is certain, she learned how to fight evil and she'll never stop. I'm intrigued. Exposing Same. her. Does that mean she is actually guilty? A killer exposing her. Does that mean her husband's sending her letters from jail? Is there an additional killer? Is her husband a killer? And there's also another killer? Is she a killer? Housewife to badass. Now, did you not have a job and now you remade your personality? Did you rename your kids? I have a lot of questions. Clearly. Intrigued. Same. I don't know if this is a good or bad thing, but serial killer is kind of a buzzword for both of us um mm -hmm. so probably a bad thing for me because there's some that i just like 
Well, you like have I have a, a favorite. favorite, so that is a that is a little weird. I will say though, like I don't like how people are assuming that she was in on it. Because like think about it, like Ted Bundy, one of the most fucking famous serial killers, his girlfriend fiance had no fucking idea. Same with the uh, John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. Most of them there didn't know. As a housewife, how do you not know? Like maybe you don't know he's killing people, but don't you at least know something shady's happening? But then. Are they actually capable of going from that type of person to some warrior whatever? Or is that a stretch? I mean, in this case, you know, for some people, it kind of takes having your world rocked to, you know, become that strong person. Right. Okay, that I'm valid. I would read this. But do you think she, she was a killer too? Based on that synopsis? I don't, I don't think she's a killer. I think maybe she probably noticed some shady shit, but like, you know, probably assumed like either made excuses for him or assumed he was having an affair. Right. So then also based off the synopsis, also, how does she find is out? there two killers or one killer? True. That's a like, good are question. the letters coming from her husband in prison or, or is there do, some other what killer? What if he had a partner? What if he's totally innocent and there was someone else dependent on him? That's a good point. There's a lot of scenarios here. We're going to have to read this and find out. I think we do need to read this. Okay. I'm going to add that to my want to read list. All right, this one is called Baby Teeth. I don't like that name. <laughs> I know, it's weird. It's I don't weird. like that name. Okay, meet Hannah. She's the sweet but silent angel in the adoring eyes of her daddy. He's the only one... <laughs> your face. He's the only person who understands her, and all Hannah wants is to live happily ever after with him. But Mommy stands in her way. Okay. And she'll try any trick she can to get rid of her, ideally for good. Okay, meet Suzette. She loves her daughter, really. But after years of expulsions and strange homeschooling, her precarious health and sanity are weakening day by day. As Hannah's tricks become increasingly sophisticated and Suzette's husband remains blind to the failing family dynamics, Suzette starts to fear that there's something seriously wrong and that maybe home isn't the best place for their baby girl after all. This reminds me of the movie Splice. I have not seen that. I feel like it's super weird that like, she wants to get rid of her mom, first and foremost. I think this Hannah's gonna grow up to be a serial killer. I'm adding this to my list too. I you wanna, wanna read that? I wanna read that. I wanna know what happens. I need to know what happens. That feels traumatized. Like, I think I'd be traumatized. I wouldn't read it. This next one is called The Earl Takes All. And it is the second in the Hellions of Havisham series. It looks like a historical romance. One summer night, Edward Alcott gives into temptation and kisses Lady Julia Kenny in the dark garden. <laughs> However, the passion she stirs within him is best left in the shadows as she weds his twin, the Earl of Grayling. But when tragedy strikes to honor the vow he makes to his dying brother, Edward must pretend to be Grayling until the Countess delivers her babe. After her husband returns from a two month sojourn, Julia finds him changed, bolder, more daring, and more wicked, even if he does limit her encounters to kisses. With each passing day, she falls more deeply in love. For Edward, the embers of desire sparked on that long ago night are quickly rekindled. He yearns to be her husband in truth, but if she discovers his ruse, she will despise him. The English law prevents him from marrying his brother's widow, yet he must dare to risk everything to reveal his secrets if he is truly to take all. First and foremost, I, th I think it's um not good to pretend to be your brother where his wife is pregnant and doesn't know that her real husband is dead. I, f I feel like that's a huge betrayal to fucking lie to her like that. Okay, I'm having a couple of very big thoughts. Okay. One, if she liked him more. Why didn't she marry him? Why summer? didn't they get married in the first place, right? Like, it let's might, say this was some sort of statusy deal though. They're yeah. twins. It could have been an arranged marriage and if the other twin was older, then she had to marry him. So okay. apparently he made a deal with his brother to pretend to be his brother. Which is so. weird. That's fucking weird. Weird. Fine. Feels very 12th nighty. That is the second in the series. So the first one, the first one's called Falling Into Bed with the Duke. So there's oh, lots of about, sex It's in about this. totally... Have you read any historical... That's basically the premise of historical romance. No, I've never... I haven't done it. That's like the whole thing. But this is about like a different set of characters. So I guess they're like companion novels. Romance readers, don't get mad at me if I'm wrong about this. But it seems like historical romance is one of the smuttiest genres that exists. 
All right, so those are all of the books that we're going to talk about today. Let me know if you have somehow happened to read any of these so far or if any of them sound intriguing and you want to add them to your TBR. Otherwise, that's all we have for you today and we'll see you in the next one.